Hello and welcome to the Noble Leaders Cup. I am Shutlike. This is the first qualifying round game between Arpad of Hungary and Radama of Madagascar. Arpad is aggressive and expansive and Hungary starts with agriculture and hunting. Radama is charismatic and imperialistic and the Madagascar uh, civilization starts with mysticism and hunting. This is the starting positions. Let's get the resource bubbles on. This is Arpad of Hungary. He starts smack at the international dateline, it seems. There are three fishes and iron in addition to another fish up here, close to his starting position. This in the very west is the eastern continent. It uh, just pops out here. Uh, it is the same as this continent then. And down here we have the starting position of Radama. He's next to a river. There are some pigs here and that's basically it. Some dice over here and then some coal here for a little bit later. Uh, there is jungle here and here and you see, well, he has riverside at least. Let's get back there, I think. <laughs> yes, there I could click it. So let's get this game going, shall we, to see who is going to qualify for the second qualifying round. Arpad versus Radama. And we see here Hinduism for Radama already. And we see Arpad is getting a little bit stronger. One city each for both of them. Two cities now Radama before turn 50. Two cities each at the moment then. And we see and that's a sit uh, settled by Radama uh, getting closer towards Hungary. Three cities each at the moment then. Different religions, Arpad in Buddhism, Radama in Hinduism. Four cities each at the moment now. And we see they spread out on the map, five cities each uh, right now. And we have uh, one turn 112, 115, we have six cities to run. We have the war already, Radama, six cities, Arpad, five cities, and we have battle, seven cities, Radama now, Arpad is on five. Arpad is 1.2 times as strong as Radama though. Seven cities to five, can any one of them get a city in this war or is it going to be wasteful? Seven cities, six cities for Radama. One city has been captured then, in other words. Radama is down to six cities. Uh, four cities Arpad now. Arpad is down to four, Arpad is up to five again. As Radama with six, Arpad with five. Now they are equal in strength. And now Arpad is weaker. He's losing units. Six cities Arpad, seven cities Radama, and they have a peace treaty going. They have a peace treaty, but with this border there is no way uh, that it is going to stay peaceful for long. Radama was very aggressive in building up towards Arpad's uh, lands and we have the next war. Of course we have the next war. Arpad equal in strength. Nine cities Radama, seven to Arpad at the moment. Nine, ten to seven now Radama is settling some cities. He is having lands down there in the uh, <laughs> south Radama, south and uh, west on the continent. Ten cities to seven at the moment and Radama is going for engineering while Arpad is going getting theology. Then on to drama. Ten cities to seven. Yeah, we have the peace treaty and now Arpad is going machinery. 10 cities Radama, 7 cities Arpad, Arpad really should try to go for some construction uh, thingy here and engineering I guess. Optics for Radama then, I mean compass first I mean. Uh, no, not optics, it's actually feudalism, okay. Arpad on divine right then, 10 cities Radama, 7 Arpad, 11 cities Radama. He is expanding by building his cities and but Arpad, they are equal in strength at the moment. But I think that if Radama can get enough peace and build enough cities, he's going to have more production available for eventual new wars. And he is on banking and Arpad is on nationalism. 13 cities Radama now. This is starting to get critical for Arpad. Radama is getting ahead. They are equal in strength, but 14 cities to 7. That is twice as many cities to build military units in if they go to war again. 
So I think Radama is my favorite right now. 15 cities to 7 and now our party is even weaker than Radama. Radama must be building units, planning for an attack. The art part is on chemistry, Radama on paper, 15 cities to 7, this is cru critical for art part. What can you do art part? You cannot go anywhere can you? You have no more uh, places to settle. Radama 17 cities and Radama is also traveling over to the continent up in the north. 17 cities to 7. 17 cities to 7 and Artpod is weaker. He's trying his best to keep up in power. He is 0.8 the strength of Radama and with only 7 cities to 17 that is actually very well done by him. 7 cities to 17 and now Radama goes for astronomy as well and Artpod is getting his constitution. Radama ended this golden age and Radama has probably begun his golden age then. 18 cities Radama now. Go, both of them going for corporation at the same time. 18 cities to 7 and now iPad is on optics and well printing press next of course. Because why not? Uh, scientific method for Radamadan is up to 21 cities. He is expanding like crazy. I think that if Radama can settle the new land he won't be far away from actually winning domination without going to more wars. Because I don't think that iPad has that much land under his control. I don't think he has enough to block it, maybe. Maybe he has not enough to block it, but one or two cities falling and that would be it. It depends if Arpad can uh, use the time in peace right now to expand. He does get astronomy right now. Can he then go out? Does he have enough settlers to go out and put some cities in the new world? There is only one. Um, Madagascar city in that continent up in the north so there is a possibility for some good lands up there at least. 25 cities Radama 7 to Arpad and it looks here is the first one up in that continent in the north yes and there is the second one now is up to 9 cities again Arpad. Well again I say he's up to 9 cities. So he is trying to close the gap, but he is 0.6 the strength, but he needs those settlers now and he needs to settle that landmass that he is trying to settle up there. That he must take and that, that island as well is up to 10 cities, but it's down to 0.5 the strength. And steel for Radama, railroads next, start by going for physics, 10 cities, 27 for Radama now then. 27 to 10, we are at turn 389. 27 to 10. And Arpad, what can you do to win this game? You are in a bit of a pickle. I am sure you understand that. And we have privateers, of course. Arpad cannot win militarily at the moment, going for replaceable parts. He has only 10 cities, but he does go for rifling at the very least, but with the Radama already at artillery almost. So that's uh, advantage to Rama. I think that Arpad's only hope here is to try to go for a cultural victory because this is not going to go well. He's not going to win space. He's not going to win any military solution. He's not going to win Diplo. So this is a cultural game for Arpad or it is a Radama victory. And now there is a war, of course. 30 cities Radama, 11 cities Arpad. And with Arpad only 0.3 the strength of Radama, this is a matter of just a few turns now, maybe. Radama, 30 cities, Arpad 11, and Radama up to 32 cities. We are at turn 416, 417, 418. 11 cities left for Arpad. We must start counting down the cities as they fall, if Radama indeed intends to grab them. Let's see what happens. Arpad is down to 0.2 the strength of Radama, which means that Rama, Radama is 5 times as strong as Arpad. 33 cities to 10, Arpad is down to 10, Arpad is down to 9, and now they are starting to fall and Radama is soon to get industrialism, while Arpad is only getting steam power, which means that this game is for all practical purposes over, it's only a matter of when Radama will reach domination now, 8 cities for Arpad now. 8 cities left, trying to go for steel, Radama goes for plastics, 7 cities Arpad now, turn 433, 7 cities Arpad, Radama still no domination, 
Let's see what happens now in the next few turns. This should be over in the not too distant future. I think he has and there it is the confirmation turn 437. 20 17 AD Radama has won a domination victory after a very good game. Congratulations with qualifying for the second qualifying round of the NLC Radama. Of the three wars that were declared in this game, Arpad declared two of them, Radama declared one. Arpad declared the first two, winning 2-1 and getting a stalemate 1-1 in city captures in the second one. Then it was peaceful for a long time until Radama decided enough was enough and declared in 1988, turn 408, winning 5-1 in city captures for a domination victory after 29 years and 29 turns in war, ending then in 2017 on turn 437. Congratulations Radama, let's take a look at the stats. Here we are at the graphs. Uh, they are pretty uh, even until here we see um, Radama is the strongest color and then Arpad is the more uh, dull color here. He goes down there and this is the score. GNP we actually see that it is Arpad that was number one for a very long time until he dropped down here. Manufacturing. It was very even but here Radama had a few jumps and then he went all the way up. Food that was uh, Radamas all the way, power, that was pretty even until what this is, what, 1700, 1800 something, where Radama, and uh, here he suddenly started to build units, it seems. <laughs> so that was his spike. Culture, that was Arpad trying his very best all the way towards the end, but he didn't succeed. Espionage, that was even until around 1920 or something, where uh, Radama went ahead to take the lead there. Demographics, we see Arpad's numbers here and Radama's numbers here. Radama with 55.4 million in population at the end of the game and the other numbers you can see on the screen yourself. Top 6 cities and Wonderstan. Let's go to the bottom of the list of wonders and see that there was only one wonder in the BC era. That was the Great Wall in Budapest. And then we go to the top and see the top six cities. Arpad has the number one, number two city. Radama has the third and fourth and fifth. And then Arpad has the number six city again. And they are reasonably big, I think. Statistics then. 
Statistics, iPad, 11 cities build, 1 raised, 5 legions, 1 golden age, currently on 16 towns, 15 windmills, 6 mines. He built in his cities 11 barracks and granaries, 9 lighthouses, 2 monuments at the bottom there. Let's go page down and see page 2 and we see the wonders here. A heroic epic is there as well, page down again. And the last building on the list is the great lighthouse. Let's go to the top and see the current units of Arpad. 12 Grenadiers, 11 Rifleman, 9 Hussar Cavalries, and then 1 Spy. He trained a total of 23 Curiosiers, 22 Catapults, 19 X-Men, and we see down to 5 Great Prophets. Let's go page down. The last unit, Group 1 Great Spy. The kills then, 16 Swordsmen, 14 Riflemen, 6 uh, X-Men and Cavalries, all the way down to an Infantry. The losses... 23 Grenadier, 20 Huskar, is it Hussar or Huskar's Cavalries? I don't know how to pronounce that. Hussar Cavalry, 20. And 19 Catapults, all the way down to one Workboat. Let's go take a look at Radama then. 34 cities built, 2 religions, 2 golden ages, currently on 44 windmills, 42 towns and 32 workshops. He built in his cities, 30 granaries, 22 lighthouses, 20 salary halls and libraries, down to 1 apostolic palace. Let's go page down and see that Chichen Itza is the last building on the list. And then we go back up to the top and see the current units of Radama. 128 infantries, 36 workers, 22 transports, 1 workboat. He trained a total of 49 workboats, 40 workers, 37 longbowmen, and down to 6 great generals there, page down. And a great merchant is the last unit on that list. Let's confirm the kills then, 23 grenadiers, 20 Huskar cavalries, 19 catapults, and 1 spearman. The losses... 16 swordsmen, 14 riflemen, 6 X-men and cavalry, and down to 1 a galley. Congratulations Radama with advancing to the next round. Let's take a look at the victory conditions screen. We see here that Radama reached 75% of the land area and that was enough to win a domination. Congratulations when it comes to culture, which was Arpad's only hope. He had the legendary Budapest 1 of 3000, but Miss Kolk and the Bergen, they were far, far away from anything. Radama built the Apostolic Palace. Let's go take a look at the cities. Arpad has seven of them, so let's take a look at them quickly. Budapest, Cheged, Kashkemet, Miss Kolk, the Bergen, uh, Shombathli and uh, Sholnok. I hope I didn't mispronounce that too badly. 11, uh, they are very happy, they are very unhealthy, they are, well, decent-ish, but uh, still shrinking a little bit. And uh, when it comes to food, uh, commerce, well, you see it here, building riflemen in every city, with the exception of the Brechen, there they have a grenadier. So let's go take a look at the cities of Radama then, who won the game actually, 37. Let's go to Radama, okay, and let's go here and sort by population, make sure we are at the top. 22 pops in on Tunguna, Tolonaro has 21, and we see a lot of 18, 17, 15, 14 and stuff. They are unhappy for the most part, at least the biggest city, but they are healthy, so that's good. Uh, food is not too strong, but it is decent. We see here the base commerce is good in a few cities, 72, 74, these are good cities, 65, 65, it adds up if you have enough of them, 73 here as well, so yes, this is good. And then we see the production, uh, well, build, uh, pro producing Broadway for 62 in Ambohimanga and Apollo program for 25 in Imeri Mandroso. That's a way far, far, way away, way away. Uh, some infrastructure, but also some tanks, battleship, marine is here, some more marines, um, Befandraina 9. Pop 9, let's go to the bottom, Pop 9, there it is, and Shekers Fervar is the first on page 2, and you can see the smaller cities down there. Congratulations then to Radama, going through to the second qualifying round, and uh, 
tomorrow of course we are to back with both the league but also one cup game and the cup game tomorrow is Ashur Banipal of Assyria versus Mihai of Romania I hope to see you back for that one I am shot like this has been the Noble Leaders Cup see you later goodbye for now